Hello everybody and welcome back to Deterra Italica. So today, we're still not ready to harvest if we take a look at our map here. We're going to take care of our animals first off. Like, very first thing. We're all green. I'm just waiting. I'm, I'm hoping it's not like the first day of fall or something. Because if you remember when we planted them, we caught it at the very tail end. So I've got that uh, feeling and I don't know where I'm going with this water bowser. Because it goes up around the corner. And I was going to get a slurry tank, but we can't really afford it. So that's on our wish list after harvest. Um, it'll definitely save us money in our fertilizing costs, for sure. So, you know, that should definitely be something that we're looking to get. I figure this is going to empty out this jug. Nice. So we'll get uh, our water here topped off. We got to take care of our uh, greenhouse as well. Uh, we haven't done that in a few days, so we've got to get that going. You pull out of the yard, then back into the yard. That way I'm already turned around for this. It's looking really good. Um, really. I really want to. <laughs> I'm excited for harvest. We haven't done a harvest this big uh, on my channel, so it should be pretty dang on cool. Can I refill here? No, let me get swung around. Jeez. So yeah, we've got to. Uh, we're gonna have to buy some straw today too. So another outgoing. Uh, we'll buy uh, a few bales and take the semi and pick them up. That way we can just get them on. And uh, we use the uh, Ferrari to get them. Or Ferrari, yeah. Ferrari makes tractors because reasons. No. Uh, we'll use the little Lambo to get them off there. And hopefully uh, get them producing manure again because right now, why is this not picking up here? Well, I know that's where I've got it. Hello? What's going on? Okay, right there, apparently. Sure. We'll go with that. We got some ghosting going on here. Oh well. So yeah, money's running a little thin. Not horrible by any means, but you know, a little bit, a little bit worried. A little bit worried. We spent a lot of money on pig food that they um, just absolutely destroyed. So that's a kind of worry. And sheep are going to need hay. We have some bales, I think. So as long as the bales didn't get destroyed, we should be good on our hay situation. So, yeah, we're going to just uh, kind of work around the yard today. Nothing too exciting is going to happen, I don't believe. How much wool do we have? We only have a pallet. You know, this yard is about the right size. It's not so big I can't, uh, you know, work in it. But it also gives you a little bit of a challenge just getting around in it. Which, you know, is nice. Don't know why I'm powering out right now. Should definitely not be powering out. I know we're heavy, but all right. Now, how do these have to be? It had to be like right at the butt end of the trailer, didn't it? Now, if somebody has a uh, 
a water Bowser mod that uses the hose system, I would like to use something with, uh, you know, a little bit more uh, interactivity. I don't mind things taking longer. You know, it gives a little bit of... Where am I going? It gives a little bit of, you know, depth to the gameplay, I guess. There we go. Thankfully, these guys don't take too awful much. But they are about out of Manor. Manor. I hate Manor. Flipped up around here. So hopefully on Monday, I'll be taking my CDL. I don't know if I mentioned that in one of the videos, but I've been diligently studying for it every day. So... Hopefully, I get to do that on Monday and uh, get all the fun endorsements and all that fun stuff. Okay, and there is the water done. Now, we could buy another greenhouse. We just don't have anywhere to put it. We have the money for it. So, I think what we'll do next is let's hop in the truck. And we use the truck next. We'll take the two things of wool and go ahead and sell them. That way uh, we don't got to do two trips. So we'll get up there, um, sell the wool, and uh, buy the straw. And hopefully that will do us good here. Let's back up straight for once, you short little stubby bastard. Okay, that was very odd. Okay, there we go. Onward to the sheep cell point, or both cell point. The cell point cell point. So, 43, four, why did that just go up? Um. Here. Never know, we might get a good chunk of change from this. Twenty-eight grand. That's not bad. The sheeps are paying for themselves. Alright, here's a job that we can do really quick. Should be you know, something new. What do we want to use? Not a fortress. Not 7,700. Is that all you own? T6. We pay 750 bucks. But you know what? It's $750 that we don't have. And that's 750 liters of pig food. <laughs> so, yeah, we really need to get uh, going on all of our stuff. Really? Really? It's going to be like this, huh? Did they update the more realistic mod to be even more more realistic? <laughs> Cuz uh Yeah, that's uh it's a little bit on the extreme side, I think. So yeah, like normal, we're just trying to uh, just trying to make as much money as we can. Um, yeah, there, there's nothing in the world that makes things go around like money, so we're in desperate need of it all the time. And you know, again, it brings up rep. I know I bring it up all the time, but rep is pretty important. So I think spending a few minutes uh, just helping somebody out is not a horrible idea especially when it's a pretty much straight field so 
Hopefully y'all can't hear that train. Because it is extremely loud. It should never be fertilized at this state. Unless it's by plane. Now that I'm... Um, there have been people saying that they're going to have uh, crop fertilization by plane in FS19. And I... I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I would uh, be very good at that. I already wreck enough in this game. So... Let's... Uh, let's not and say that we did, you know? Should be pretty close to getting done. Very close, in fact. go 750 bucks paid for our gas for the day you know that's uh that's all right now the only reason that i would want to get another greenhouse is because it's basically uh we're gonna cut up this way i'm gonna take out another sign um it would basically negate our daily fees on everything but i don't know if we have the uh, amount of manure necessary for it. Well, I know we didn't... Where is this? Really? Just want to go over there. It looked like a straight road on the map. Um, wow, that's, uh, that's gonna be treacherous. So, yeah, I just, um, I'm going back and forward on it. You know, we don't, uh, we don't really have the... God, I'm hitting... Every, where am I? Can I please just go to the store? What is this place? What are they... I've never been here. I don't know what this is. Oh my god, guys. I am like the worst player in the world right now. I'm not sure what they uh I'm not sure what you do here. Looks like you do something. Got a little pit thing there. Um hmm. We'll have to do a little bit of reading on that. I promise I won't hit the gate this time. Now, something I've seen on uh, one of the maps was uh, like places being closed at certain times of the day. And that was uh, pretty interesting. And they were closed on like, you know, certain days of the week too. Like you couldn't go sell on a Sunday. So, yeah, that was uh, new and different to me. Alright, so I went with... Uh, it's two stacks, six thousand dollars worth of bales. They are extremely expensive, so hopefully we don't have to uh, do this very often. Uh, I'm still not used to all the, you know, like the auto locking stuff. I normally do it all myself, but I figured, you know, for this series where I knew we would be moving a lot of bales, I not hit this guy's crops, please. Uh, I figured that having uh, something along these lines would help. Now we will be doing see some, see some blah 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 blah. Uh, we're we're going to try to do some of the uh, harvesting for our neighbors this year. I'm hoping that that will be a thing. Please don't cross the street in front of me. I cannot stop this thing fast enough. So yeah, that's what I'm hoping to do. 
is uh, we've got plenty of downtime. You know, we're we only got so many fields right now. I'm hoping to get more. Um, but we just got to see what our crop does. You know, we some of that has to go for the pigs, and some of it gets to go for us. Well, we figured 100,000 liters for a year uh, of corn. So hopefully that field has a hundred and something in it. And then I figure, you know, around that for the sunflowers too. So um, I have a couple of mods installed to where we can uh, have like some uh, storage. Because I don't know what our maximum storage is. But I don't want to fill it up. <laughs> because I'd like to sell some of this stuff when we can. Not, you know, as a absolute necessity. Alright, let's go into the next area. I'm trying to think where we can put these. Uh, thought. There we go. So let's do it there. Unload. Hey, look at there. We can, uh... I've learned something. Alright, now we just need to get the truck put up. The hardest part of this job. There we go, back in his home. Now I don't think we have... We've only got the bucket for the... Manitou, don't we? So I need the little Lambo wherever we put it. I think it's over here in the garage. Okay, we'll do the... Cheap first. We're gonna have to do some more work for them as well. So we need to keep that in mind moving forward. I don't know how much they need. Two bales. And our greenhouse has just run out of manure. Yes, that does fill them up. So they should be 100%. They're not breeding though, which is, um... I don't know if it's because it's the middle of summer and they're just too hot to be bothered or... or what's going on there. Now, the straw... I think it goes right here. I've never done it with the pigs. Um, because we've run out of what we had. So I'm going to try right there. It seems like about the most logical place. Good job, Alex, putting these behind a pole. You dumbass. Oh no. Please tell me I don't need a chopper. Please, pigs. Leave me be. Okay, okay, there it is. Good. So, how much of that did they need? One bale. Okay. Oh, that was easy. But we'll just park the Lamborghini up right here. Shouldn't be no no issue at all. Close up this gate. Open up the other gate. And get some of that lovely, lovely poo moved. I think that we will, at uh, some point, get the... 
I don't have potato. That's like the third great demand for potatoes. Um. Can you please move? Don't you go out the gate. I think that uh, the JCB would be a pretty good investment for this farm, where it's tracked, it's a little bit heavier, and a little bit more power than the Manitou. Not a astronomical amount. No, I guess if I would have paid attention, I bet that random money that we get every once in a while is the um, is the greenhouses. Yeah, I just kind of got that that feel. Try not to tip it here. We don't need so much, like 2,000 liters. We're right about there, I think. Now, we are going to have to plow this field and replant it because we can't fertilize it right now. So, um, it's not even getting like any kind of like chippings uh, for fertilizer like it does on um, Kleinzelheim. So that's something that we need to definitely get done. Probably be a small winter project once we get a, another grass field. Land is not an issue on this map. There's uh, plenty of, you know, triple sevens right there. Lucky. There's, is it going to rain again? Jeez Louise, man. Or, no, I don't need this menu. I need this menu. Monday the 3rd. No, our corn will be dead by then. Dang it. Hopefully that rain... Well, it's raining now. Hopefully it kind of... holds off... Uh, whenever we go to... do our... harvesting because that's going to be kind of an annoyance. We also need to get that last bit of fertilization done. It's getting uh, not good. But it's raining. So we can try to fertilize in the rain. I just don't know if it'll work. But it needs to get done. Like, it has to get done. But we ran out of time yesterday. Alright, so we're going to give this a shot in the rain. Um, not really a fan. I don't know where we got to go either. Um, we might have to give them some food, too. Okay, apparently it's this up your section, a 24. And 23 and 22. Get it unfolded. I think a little bit bigger sprayer at some point would uh, do us well as well. That or a uh, a solid fertilizer sprayer spreader, mainly because you can go a little bit faster. So is this working? Yes, we are G two G. But yeah, this is something that had to get done. I know it's you know odd doing this uh, in the rain, but if we didn't get it done, then we're gonna miss out on. Um, a lot of productivity. 
Because if you didn't know, you can't do the the fertilizing after it's ready to go in seasons. You can do it in the in the base game, but uh, seasons is a different animal. So is there anything that you guys would like to see in this series? Um, my YouTube demographic thing says a lot of people are from the UK watching this. So, well, UK, Europe, basically Europe. I know that they're two different things, but it, it always slips. I'm sorry. Um, so, yeah, is there anything that like you guys would want to see? Because I just kind of do stuff on my own. You know, I'd go out and do a little bit of reading and then try to figure it out as I go and then I just try to make the most informed decision that I can but you know I'm open to ideas of things that other people would like to see you know equipment cars trucks you know how we do things I'm I'm pretty pretty laid back on everything I'm not going to go, like, buy 10 brand new tractors or anything. You know, keep it reasonable. Because we are trying to be uh, semi-realistic, you know, as best that we can. Giants, please, give me a way to see that way I kinda know what I'm doing I'm sure I'm missing a lot of this. How much are we missing? Not a huge amount, but... You know, every penny counts in this series. Hopefully we get a good chunk of change out of Sunflowers. We do have the... Uh, quantity that we need. You know, we, we've got more sunflowers than we do corn, by a lot. I'm still going to guess that that is around 6 hectares. If I was to guess. And it's fully plowed, cultivated. It's got three stages of fertilizer on it. So it should be a good chunk of money. Or at least that's the hope, anyway. Um, I think right here. Get it all. Got it good enough. Hopefully they can get over to the sunflower field without having to fold this thing up. Now, everything here should be done as soon as we get to the edge of field 23, which I don't know where that was. It's like here somewhere? We'll go over there right there. thinking about getting a sunflower uh, header as well 
Um, you can go a little bit faster. I think it's like 9 or 10 miles an hour that you can go while using that type of header. And that would save us a lot of wear and tear and fuel costs on our harvester. And I don't think that our tipper is going to be big enough. I mean, it's going to be big enough because we're right here by the farm. But as we grow and expand, I think that that will be something that we're going to need to look at replacing. What's the largest uh, amount of sunflowers that we've ever harvested? It was on Upton, wasn't it? Just field 7? Yeah, that sounds right. Field 7? Not a very big field, but... Uh, yes, I know I don't own that field in particular. But, uh, yeah, that it wasn't a very big field, but I... Well, I think we done it twice as sunflowers, and it was maybe this one little corner. <laughs> so, uh, and we make good money from it. I want to say we made like ten grand. So yeah, that's gonna be interesting to see. I don't think we're gonna get all of this done today. Um, we'll get a good chunk of it done, but we're not gonna get all of it done. I mean, we got uh, the soybeans, which I was really worried about. We got all those done. But the rain is kind of off-putting right now. And it's very hard to see. <laughs> so we may have to wait to do this because, like, like I said, it's, it's kind of hard to see. And... You know, it's probably not the the funnest thing to look at, and I don't want to do it as a time lapse in the rain. So, because it gets really artifacted. Uh, if you've ever seen one of my time lapses where I do stuff in the rain, it uh, turns out really, really weird. So it's something I try to avoid the majority of the time. So, and it looks like it's starting to blow really hard so I don't know it's um it's definitely different so we'll head back down one more time we'll uh leave the little Lamborghini out here and we're gonna go feed our pigs a little bit cause we want their productivity to be up uh, they're making us valuable fertilizer, so that needs to be, you know, up through the roof. We need them to use the bathroom as much as they can. That way we can collect the glorious resources from their behinds. And, you know, this does knock out a good chunk of our big field. What, what, what field do we want to call this? I don't know. I don't know what I want to call this field. The big one. The very large field. <laughs> I think what we'll do is uh, set a worker up on it tomorrow. Oh, it, f it finally stopped raining. Good. Well, anyway, we're, <laughs> we're not going to finish today. So, uh, I think we're... Well, no, we'll fold it up and go get some liquid. That way we'll fill it up. But we'll put a worker on it tomorrow and let them go to town. So how much did that get done? Good little bit. Good little bit. Now I just gotta remember whenever I go to do this field I wanna do it um, clockwise so I can keep the... I'm, d I'm just gonna probably go around in circles till about the end. Uh, that way I can keep the auger out on the harvester I uh, figure it's going to fill up pretty quick so definitely going to be a job yeah we're definitely going to be looking at a a bigger sprayer or not, not a bigger sprayer a uh, spreader that's the word I'm looking for. That way we can just be 
going along, everything's kosher, and just kind of get it done really quick. Because you can go so much faster with a spreader, it's not even funny. So what do you say, about 10,000 liters more? I think 10,000 liters ought to do us pretty good. Get us through today. Wow, it's... I don't remember it filling up that fast yesterday. Yeah, well, might as well just fill it up. So it is $1 per liter. That's not horrible. Still 15 grand, and uh, we spent 10 grand yesterday, so that's $25,000 in food. So, yeah, that's like 20 pigs. So we cannot be on this methodology all the time. It uh, is not self-sustaining. What? No, it's not. How? Okay, well, we'll let them eat it down. Dang it. Let's put all this. I don't know where to put it either. Can I put it in here? Well, we'll just keep it in here, I guess. Now, it'd be really funny if it split it up into its parts. Oh, no. Did I just mess up? Hmm. Okay. Okay, it is there. Whew. Good. Crisis averted. Maybe we can look at getting some cows. Maybe next year we'll get like 20. Just to have them. I, I, I really like doing the cow work. It's a pretty nice thing to do. So we're going to park up here, and I think that's where we're going to end it for today. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.